So there's a guy or a girl or someone, um, this is them. Hello, you're probably watching. They, uh, a, lot of, a lot of you guys have sent me in and said that this person's copying all your photos and doing all this stuff, right? Imi imitation, the imitators. <sighs> Quick thing. <laughs> Firstly, you're going out and marketing my content. You're marketing for me for free. <laughs> Thank you. Golly gosh. Um, secondly, you're helping me build a case for Instagram to get me there's one of those blue bloody ticks, those things, because the, the people who this happens to, they get the blue ticks. But I want to say, you're wasting time. You're wasting a tremendous amount of time pretending to be someone who you're not. You're pretending to be me. What's, how's that going to work for you? That, that might be cool to hide behind some fake alias on the, on the Insta space, but it's, what about real life? There was a guy by the name of Ralph Waldo Emerson, who's really quickly becoming one of my favorite writers of recent times, by the way. And he had a, a saying, and he said, envy is ignorance and imitation is suicide. Um, and not, most of you guys aren't doing fake Instagram accounts, but many of you envy. And his line, envy is ignorance, specifically means this. When you go and envy someone else, you are being ignorant to one, where you have that in your own life, and where they have the drawback in their life. Envy is ignorance because you're not seeing the full picture. They say never meet your hero because the reason someone's a hero is if you put them on the pedestal because you're blind to half the shit that they have to deal with, that the reason that they're your hero, you don't see all the downsides and the dark sides. They're your hero. When you go and meet them and you sort of see it all, you're like, oh, golly gosh, they're not a hero. They're a normal human being just like me and they've got what I've got and I've got what they've got. And when you see that, you have a different bloody awakening. You go and look at a, uh, an interview with Elon Musk. Everyone says, I want to be the next Elon Musk. I want to be just like Elon Musk. You go and ask his opinion. He says, it's not so fun being me. So instead of wanting to be the next Elon Musk or being just like an Elon Musk or being just like a Lewis Mocker, why not be yourself? Your own self is way more special than trying to fake being someone else. Because as Emerson says, imitation is suicide. When you shut down your own light and you don't want to acknowledge who you are and show that to the world and let that shine out, and be authentic and original and you want to just imitate someone else, what you're doing is you're killing your true self. So my message is don't kill yourself. Don't commit suicide. That's absolutely crazy. Life's way too good. You've got way too much to bring to the world and to do that. Every single person watching this has something very special. They have a light inside to bring to the world. If you like the stuff, find out how to get it and go and get it. The truth is it's not that hard. Swipe up. I'll give you a four part video series. I'll teach you exactly how to do it. If you just cut the shit and stop the tomfoolery and stop wasting time trying to please people and stick to stupid traditions, go and get the fucking thing done and you can have whatever you want. I think the amount of time that individual spent copying the photos, copying the captions, putting them, posting them all up, fucking hell. I don't know how you have that so much time. You should apply to work for me and be a marketer. Golly gosh, I would pay you and give you a salary. Goodness me. But for the rest of us who aren't doing that kind of crazy shit, Make sure that you're being efficient with your time and you don't have a short term. So many people are just thinking for the next day or the next week or the next month. They're not thinking 20 years into the future. So in summary, do you have goals written out? If you don't, what? what? Why not? You don't value your life if you don't have goals. You're just living this wishy-washy fucking thing and hoping that this happens and that doesn't happen. That's some crazy shit. Secondly, how big are your goals in time and space? I'm not talking about how many dollars you think you're going to want to make. I'm talking about how big are they in time and space? So many people have these goals that are for the week or for the month or for the year and they kind of can't even visualize that properly because it's so foggy. I'm talking about 100 years, 200 years. Anyone who's read Lesson 8 of Infinite Prosperity knows that I have a 200 year goal to touch the lives of 7 billion people and I've done the math. If you haven't done the math on your 200 year goal, you haven't... You, 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 you're living for the moment. You're living in the animal mind. You gotta think bigger, think longer, and then your life will be more empowered. And you won't waste time doing some dumb ass shit that is not sustainable, it's not gonna last. Golly gosh, think long term, think long term. Come on guys, come on, long term. What's your long term goal? Post it up, swipe it up, let me know what it is, I'll reply to you, I promise.